So for travel clothes going down, I'm going to be wearing this t-shirt with this sweatshirt and a pair of leggings on the plane. Since it's going to be really warm when we're going down, it's going to mainly be in like the high 20s Celsius at 80s Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not really going to need sweatshirts at all for this vacation. So I'm only bringing this one sweatshirt, which is kind of sad because I have a bunch of Disney sweatshirts, but this one probably is my favorite. Um, so again, so I'm going to be wearing this down and I'm also going to be wearing a raincoat as well since it may rain towards the end of the vacation. So I'm just going to wear my raincoat down as well. Um, and then once I get there, then I can change into shorts. So I'm bringing three pairs of shorts, this like lighter denim pair, and then this cream colored and another light blue pair. That's like more like cottony. Um, these are from Aerie and then I think it's just Aeropostale. This is like, this is a really old pair of shorts. Yeah, so three pairs of shorts. I, of course, I'm bringing my two mini ears. And then also down there, it's my mom's birthday when we're going. So that's her birthday present. So I have to make sure I bring that. Of course, I have my pajamas. I have some alcohol wipes, my band as well. And then for shirts going down to like match with my shorts, I'm bringing three tank tops. So this is a nice tank top and then these two are very casual tank tops. I'm bringing two t-shirts to wear in the parks and then one nicer top. So again, it's gonna be very, very warm when we go down. So I think this is definitely gonna be for Hollywood Studios since this is like a Star Wars shirt. This is what I usually wear in the Magic Kingdom because it's like, it says life is better with a Mickey bar or a cupcake or something like that, I can't remember. Um, and then I'm only down there technically for two more full days and then one travel day home. So probably on the other two park days, I'll probably wear this tank top one day, this one another day, and then I have one spare tank top. So now that I'm looking at everything, I think I may bring an extra t-shirt as well, just in case. I realize this is like a lot of like shirts for just a couple of days, but it's only because I know like at night we're going to like one dinner that will be like for my mom. So I think maybe like when we get back, I may change into this shirt or if one day I don't feel like wearing a tank top or if I get something on it, I can always have a spare shirt to change into. Although I'm not sure though, because again, we're gonna have a washer dryer. So I may not need to have like any extra shirts because we may be doing a quick load. Um, Cause then I probably will wear the same outfit going home is the thing. So maybe I won't need to bring this shirt. I'll think about it though. Also, as I'm filming, Morocco is sleeping on my pajama pants that I'm wearing tonight. I have to hem those pajama pants, which is why they're out, but she's so cute right now. Now. For shoes, I'm going to be wearing my white sneakers down on the plane, and that's likely what I'm going to be wearing in the parks every day as well. I'm also going to be wearing, wearing flip flops. I'm going to bring these pair of beige sandals as well, um, just in case if I want to switch out, or again at night if I want to wear sandals or flip flops, or if my toes get tired of being in sneakers. But yeah, these are the three pairs of shoes that I will be bringing. Again, I'm wearing these down, and these two will be packed in the suitcase. So for toiletry items, this is basically everything I'm bringing here. Most of all of these items will be put into this little Black Beer Bradley case that I have. Then I have my little liquids in this pouch. So in this pouch, I of course have my makeup remover, my contact solution, my moisturizer, some deodorants. That's like a leaving conditioner in that little pink bottle right there. My face cleanser, and then in the back is just some Listerine. I also have my makeup brushes in this case right here. This is my shampoo and conditioner. I use like shampoo bars and conditioner bars that are wrapped up because they look kind of gross. <laughs> also don't mind my little Christmas decor around here. Obviously these two these two buddies aren't coming with us. Um, they have my shampoo and conditioner in there. This is the SPF that I use on my face every day. I have some Q-tips and my makeup remover like pads in here. Toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, things like that. I use this, this is actually, it says Purell, but this is actually um, dish soap. This is what I use to clean my retainer every morning. My contacts, I will be putting my contacts in the morning of, just the case I have my contacts, a little cactus thing, but I'll be bringing this case as well, of course. And then for the more makeup-y items, I have my setting powder that I use, my blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad in Pillow Talk, which I really love. So I'll be bringing this. I have my two eyeliners. This is the Essence Everlast Extreme Lasting eyeliner in black and then also the Rimmel eyeliner. I think it's the Extraving eyeliner. Yeah, I can't remember. In brown. I'm we'll also bringing some the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is the waterproof one. So far I've been liking it, so I'm just going to bring it. This is my Laneige. This is my favorite, favorite one. My, uh, it's a lip glowy balm, but I really just use it as a lip balm for the most part. It says gummy bear. That's the scent, but it really just smells like grape, if I'm being honest. Um, and then also makeup wise, I have like just a lip balm and then I'm only bringing one lip gloss. Obviously, I've been wearing a mask a lot of the times. This lip gloss is in, I think, creme brulee, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing a mask most of the time anyway, so that's why I'm only bringing one lip product because I don't really think I'll need it more than one lip product. And then last but not least, I'm also bringing my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion since I'm finding that helps last some of my eyeliner a little bit longer. Recently, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup, which is why I'm not bringing a whole lot of makeup. And it's like, I've been doing it the very minimal makeup type of look. Oh, and then also this as well. This is I put in my eyebrows. It's technically an eyeshadow, but yeah, I literally put eyeshadow in my eyebrows and it's been working. And again, my makeup brushes are all in here. Then of course I have my brush. I'm not gonna show you it because it looks kind of gross. I have my other wooden brush when I get out of the shower. 
Um, I have like some acne products that I use for myself and an extra pair of contacts as well in case the contacts that I am wearing um, end up getting messed up for whatever reason. And I forgot to mention this little sharpener is because my eye, my Essence eyeliner is one of those sharpening ones. So I'm bringing this in case I do need to sharpen it when I'm away. So yeah, so when it's all packed up, this all fits in this pouch. All of my the liquids are in this pouch. Again, these are my makeup brushes. I thought quickly I'd just show you the brushes that I'm bringing. These are my everyday brushes that I literally never, I use these brushes out of this case. So it, they are always, oh, don't look at that. That's very dirty. So that they're always in this case, but this is the main brushes I use. This is my powder brush, my blush brush. Um, I use a various of like these five brushes for when I'm doing eyeshadow. I'd say I probably use this one and this one the most. And I use this one for my eyebrows. And again, I don't really, I don't really use any of these other brushes anymore. I use these for when I'm doing gel eyeliner, but I'm not bringing any gel eyeliner this time. But again, but I always just keep all these brushes in here. I use this brush if I'm doing like contouring or like some kind of um, bronzer. But again, I'm not bringing any bronzer this time or anything. But yeah, those are my brushes. Oh, and then also one thing that I'm missing from this pouch that I'm gonna put into here is a mini like travel dry shampoo. I just ran out of it, so I'm gonna be going out today to go buy another one. Um, but just note that I'm also gonna be shoving in like a little dry shampoo into this little case as well. So then for on the plane too, I'm gonna be bringing just my backpack. I'm gonna bring my laptop, my laptop charger, of course, all my other charges too, my Apple Watch, my phone charger, all that stuff. Although that will probably go in my suitcase. Also, of course, bringing, you know, ID, my my Magic Band, Purell's in here. I'm also, so I'm not actually bringing um, a park bag because I'm gonna buy a park bag when we're down there. So I'm bringing this airy bag for now to just carry my wallet and stuff once I get to, once I get to Disney Springs and stuff before I get that bag because again i'm just gonna buy i want to get the, the one of the latest uh dooney and brooke bags and then other things i'm also bringing too that will be in this bag will be my kindle of course headphones um and things like that so yeah so this is most of the stuff packed except for my toiletries and again there's only a few more things i will need to pack that i'll probably will pack tomorrow morning but otherwise though i think this is kind of everything i mean like i have some like medication like my daily vitamins and stuff too that i will be shoving into here as well okay some quick updates i just got back from the store i did get the dry shampoo i also got a little thing of airborne that I'm going to bring as well. Um, I realized before I didn't show my reusable masks that I got, so I'm going to be bringing two reusable masks and then a bunch of disposable masks as well. So that's one, and then I have my other Disney mask as well that I'll be bringing. I'm bringing a little bag of pretzels. I don't really know if I'm going to eat them or not because on the plane and in the airport, I'm not planning on really taking off my mask. I'm going to be wearing two masks in the airport, so it depends. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. But I do want to bring some pretzels or something in case I start to get plane sick because I do get travel sick a little bit sometimes. So just in case I do start to feel nauseous or sick, I do have pretzels just in case. Um, always a good snack to have anyway. And then I did show those alcohol wipes too, but I'm also going to bring another little baggie of Clorox wipes because I feel like Clorox wipes, I don't know if they're better or not for like surfaces because when I looked at the package of those alcohol wipes, it said they weren't really for surfaces, it's like for your hands. So this is going to be for surfaces for if I want to clean anything. Well, hello. I am now filming this outro a month, almost a month after you just watched that whole pack with me. So it's now in 2022. Welcome to the future, everyone. <laughs> but I don't actually mind it because I can just quickly fill you in on what I end up using and what I didn't use and what I wish I had brought. So for instance, in the video, you would have seen that I was thinking about packing that extra yellow t-shirt and then I ended up not packing it because I thought I was bringing too many shirts. But looking back now, I do wish I had brought that yellow t-shirt because Disney was not as warm as I thought it was going to be. It was warm during the day and I did wear one of the tank tops to Epcot, I believe, during the day. But then by nighttime, it was getting way more chillier than I was ex that, than I had expected it to be. So I ended up wearing that one sweatshirt that I brought more than I thought I was going to be wearing a sweatshirt. So because of that, I do kind of wish I had brought another t-shirt and another sweatshirt option so that I wasn't just wearing the same sweatshirt for the entire trip. It ended up working out fine. Again, I was only there for four days, so it's not like I was there for some extended period of time with nothing to wear or anything like that. But I do wish I had brought that extra yellow shirt because I ended up not wearing two of the tank tops I had brought. I didn't bring wear the green tank top and I didn't wear like the nicer like lace tank top that I had brought. But I ended up just wearing the t-shirts like multiple times because it was a little bit chillier. You also just seen too for the makeup, I completely forgot <laughs> to pack the SPF for my face that I had showed the Paula's Choice SPF. It was just a, an oversight for me. The morning when I was getting ready, I put my SPF on and then I put it back into like my everyday like bin that I have that I use here in my apartment. And I didn't put it into my travel case. So when I packed everything up, I went to Disney. 
went to Disney Springs and then the next morning in Disney, I realized I forgot my SPF. So that was the only thing that I forgot to bring other than other than wishing I would have packed other items. Um, but it was kind of funny that I realized like I wear SPF on my face every single day. So of course, like I just went a few days without wearing it. It wasn't really that big of a deal or anything. So yeah, so the Disney vlogs are to come. I've already been editing the Disney vlogs. Again, I went on the trip for four days and for four full days and then like two travel days in December. So get ready because they're coming soon. And I'm also going to Disney now in 53 days from today when I'm filming, we're going at the end of february beginning of march again more disney vlogs to come overall so i'm very very excited <laughs> i got this necklace when i was in disney so <laughs> yeah but thank you so much for watching any questions or anything just comment below that's totally fine and i will see you soon then